Zoho recently released a new feature called Client Script, which has some pretty cool features around being able to do dynamic field validation and also changing the way that the user interface responds based on what people do in real time. This is quite exciting because in the past, if you wanted to do a certain behavior where if someone typed in a value for one field and then you wanted to change the way that the UI appeared, then you couldn't really do anything. The only things that you could do related to that would be after they saved the record, then you could use a workflow rule and you could take the value and perhaps paste it into another section. But now using client script, you can do that. In this video, I'm going to start off by showing you how you can have dynamic field validation using client script. Have a look at what happens if I type something into field criteria. You can see it's showing this message here. The field criteria you entered is not valid JSON. And then if I do enter valid JSON and click away, it now shows correctly because that indeed is valid JSON. The way this is set up is if you go to the setup page under developer space client script, you've then got a new section here. I can show you this one. where I can write code in JavaScript. Here what I'm doing using json.parse, and if there's an error, then I show this error message. There are a whole lot of other things that you can do with it as well. If you click on this link, it shows you everything that you can do. I'm gonna do another video later where I show some of the other behaviors where, for example, you can freeze the UI, and if you're using Canvas, you can highlight elements, a whole bunch of other things that can be done. So it's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to being able to show you some of these, these other options here where you could be able to set values in other fields, make fields read only, a lot of powerful options. Before I go, let me show you how you actually configure the first part of it. If you click on new script, then you can have, I'll just replicate what I did for the field criteria JSON. You choose the module. First of all, I did it on the edit page. Choose the layout, and then I chose a field event here. I chose field criteria. You can also you can do it on page events. There's a lot of options there, but for this video, I just wanted to focus on field validation. And for that one, I chose field event, chose the field, and then you're able to write the code. In subsequent videos, I'll go into many more options, many more pieces of functionality that you can achieve using ClientScript.